Yeah, recap. Is it on yet? <sighs> okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. Yeah. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Said the F word. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. You're gonna fucking talk about it, Ethan. It's all over now. Just let no. <laughs> Casualty. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. 
she's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Okay, not gonna lie, that baby's got a big ass head. In. A local tale. That baby kind of ugly too. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We it kind of looks like Ethan. Do with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Okay, bitch. Calm the fuck down. God damn. It's not. Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just. I like cautious. the baby. It has a little cardigan. Go cautiously. Take your daughter to bed. And if I drop her. I'll finish dinner. He didn't support that head. That baby's head just like. That baby's head would have went back. I'm just saying. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. <laughs> Your mom doesn't want to remember, but I'm going to make sure she remembers. Did you say something? No. Nope. Nothing. I'll put her down. Can I, like, look out the window? Shut up, we're fine. Nothing. <gasps> Put the baby in there. Just not there. Just not like I said to your mom, that book's too scary for you. Yeah, that baby's like six months old and you're reading her a horror story. That's that's a great way. The fuck was that? Oh, that was you. That's a bathroom. I don't think it's that way. Almost there, honey. Stop. Oh, correct. Open that door. Can I still do stuff? I think so. I'm gonna put the baby down. Put the baby down. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. Oh, look at your little right cardigan. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh, our little socks. Oh, oh my goodness, the baby. That's my child now. No longer yours, Ethan. That's my baby. Toy. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Mm, is it? <laughs> oh, they got married. I said turn the preach. Oh, okay. I was pressing the wrong button. Oh, <gasps> and then they had a baby. And then they had a baby. Oh my goodness! I wish you could stay like this forever. Oh, she has a monkey suit. Oh, oh my goodness! She's so little. I want to cry. <laughs> oh, she's so tiny. Sorry, I panicked. Okay, don't. Wait, can I kick that ball? Hiya! Okay, bye-bye, baby. We're not gonna... We're not gonna close the door? Okay. No, fuck... Fuck the baby, right? Baby don't need to sleep. Why don't I even I, keep this around? I didn't even open the door. get rid of it someday. Didn't even open the door. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Why are there two beds? Why do you have two beds? This is where he sleeps when he gets in trouble. Hit natural gas.
Everyone's forgotten about this already. But not you, Ethan. Yeah, I've been down that way. Got turned around. Hey! Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. I touched the door and you yelled at me, ma'am. She's going to grow beautiful. That's the same picture upstairs. She's just cropped out of her mom's. Why is that mirror boarded up? Hmm. Suspicions. I don't want to go that way. I want to look over here first. I don't care if you're making dinner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. TV. Coco Melon! No. Leave it on. It's gonna be a party tonight. Look at the little BB chair! And the little stuff! Oh, 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 there we go. Figuring it out. Pregnant mom. Wee! Oh, Goodbye. Mia. What a miracle. Mm hmm. Stop turning. Just let me focus. Aww, Three babies. Ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Oh, because that's it. It happened three years ago. Okay. I'm like, your baby's not three, sir. But what? Okay, that's what I figured. Can I, can I, can I close? Okay, nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, we're going to go in here now. Is she okay? Sleeping like no, a, she's dead. Like a baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. She just hit his wow. hand with that oh, really oh, hot ladle. Yeah. Hmm? Local wine, That too. pot just came off the stove. Well, that is a hot-ass so ladle. Evening. Well, he should have been touched the food. He didn't touch the food! You really have to stop worrying. And you have to stop being such a bitch. Just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be. Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. It happened so I long ago, three years ago. So oh, she got shot. Mia, get down. Mia. You know he didn't even try to save her. Like, at all. Mia, get down! Proceeds to get under the table himself as his wife gets shot to death. Mia. Oh, God. Leon! Chris! What the hell? Forgot his name. <laughs> he's double tapping. He's just making sure she's actually dead. <gasps> Ninjas. 